And welcome back to Let's Play Psychonauts! Last time, well, we completed our basic braining, the first course we had to get through in Whispering Rock Psychic Summer Camp. This badge that we got entitled us to explore the entirety of the camp beyond the cabin areas. Additionally, afterwards, we met up with the Psychonaut Sasha9, who indirectly gave us the task to find his lab. To that end, he gave us this uh, button as a sort of clue. Talking to Coach Oleander revealed to us that more than likely he's trying to guide us to the the geodesic isolation domes, but there is more to see than just those domes, and in fact, quite a lot to miss out on if you do just go straight to Sasha 9's lab. So, for more or less all of this video, we are going to be focused on exploring the camp, seeing all the various scenes that we can see, and getting as much dialogue as we possibly can. As you can see, all the campers have dispersed from the basic braiding course to take up residence in various parts around the camp, although as we can see, Nils is still at it over here. You know, a nutcracker might be faster. Tonight, when this baby is full of fine ladies, I'm going to see everything. How are you going to fill that nut with ladies? No, dude. The girl's cabin. I've got a man on the inside. I get it. You're using clairvoyance. You grabbed one of the squirrel's nuts, and now you're using clairvoyance on it to form a mental link and see what the squirrel sees. Um, could you say acorns instead of nuts if you repeat that to anybody else? Teach me how to do that. Hey. I paid a little bit of attention in class, but not that much. What you need is an expert in clairvoyance, where I am merely an expert in the ladies. So yes, Nils is cluing, cluing us into one of the potential psychic powers we could use, but I wonder who could teach us how to be clairvoyant? Hmm, sounds like uh, Coach Eliander's getting a little bit of shut eye there. Got anything else to say, Nils? Come on, teach me clairvoyance. Go find an expert. I have no idea how I'm doing this. Well, some help you were. Ugh. Now I'm never going to show you how to do this, jerk. Yeah, whatever. You weren't that much help anyway. Let's see what the... Uh... Call me crazy, but I have just got to sell more side course today. So yes, these prices are real. Here at the camp store, side cores are just that cheap today. Yeah, I'm going to periodically be uh, interrupted by the guy at the camp store. Just something I'm going to have to deal with. Anyways, what's everybody talking about over okay. here? I'm going to close my eyes, right? And then I'm going to start to count to a hundred, okay? And then you guys hide. Everybody got it? It's hide and seek, Vernon, not hide and calculus. We've all got it. I got it. You start counting, and then I go hide in that bush. Great. What? Milka? You're a genius. Come on, Dogan. Hold on. This reminds me of a story. It's about counting. Hello? Man, you guys are good. Well, I'm sorry that uh, you weren't able to tell your story, Vernon. At least to them. Why don't we see what Vernon has to say? Any luck finding those guys, Vernon? Nope. Not yet. You're not gonna tell me, jerk. Oof. Raz, I'm sorry, but that's not how you play this game. I think my way is more fun, but well, what do I know? Anyways, with that taken care of, we can now move on out from the cabin area, see what else is going on in the rest of the camp. To get into the main area of the camp, where the lodge is located, we need to just go over this bridge over here, and who are these two blocking the way? No passing, but I need to get to Sasha 9's secret lab. Maybe you should have thought of that before. I did think of that before. That's why I'm here now. Exactly. Now you gotta pay the toll. One arrowhead. Pay up! I found this thing. Is that what you're talking about? Yep. That's an arrowhead. How'd they get here? Frankie, the new kid can't be this dumb, right? The camp's built on an Indian burial ground and... Oh my gosh! Indians buried their dead here? Ew! I hope not. No, stupid. They buried their arrowheads here. They're hidden underground, but they let out a little gas once in a while. Just like Coach Oleander. So if you see any of that stuff, just pull them right out. Like truffles. Anyway, let me have one of yours. Ah, 
Obviously, if you somehow got to this point without getting an arrowhead, which is actually surprisingly difficult to do, given that a lot of the scenery in the actual levels can drop them, uh, then of course you'd have to collect one at this point. Not that that's terribly difficult. Now, I did just remember, there is one other thing we can do in this area. We showed the button to Coach Oleander, and we've already pretty much gotten the solution to our quest, but you can show it to everybody if you so desire. Just interact with them when you're holding the button out. I think this button is a clue to the location of Sasha 9's secret lab. Really? Hang on. I'll use my power of clairvoyance on it to see if he's got any ladies in there. Nope. Just Maloof. And he's crying. I've heard that's what happens to kids who go for Sasha's advanced training too early. Ooh, I'm scared. I wonder what Maloof is doing at Sasha 9's lab, though. He said he was crying, so maybe if we keep our ears peeled for... Ears peeled. Keep our uh, ears open for uh, crying sounds, maybe that'll give us a clue. This button look familiar to you? Oh, man. That's from the geodesic psycho-isolation chamber. That reminds me of this time. I was stuck in there for three days straight. The first ten minutes were bad. But then the second five were pretty scary. I was delirious for the three after that, and then... Hey, I think I see Elka over there. Where? Well, you see, she's invisible, Vernon, so you just have to search a little bit harder. But yes, Vernon is uh, prone to telling you long-winded stories where he just completely loses the point. So uh, if you do not like hearing those, then perhaps you should avoid him at all costs. We're, of course, going to be hearing a lot of Vernon's stories in this playthrough. I think I missed an opportunity. Oh, there you. Come here, you. Can't do the scavenger hunt without a list. Report back to me when you have enough items for your first promotion. Now get! Huh. So, we've gotten another one of our collection quests. This is the uh, Whispering Rock Scavenger Hunt. There are 16 special items to collect. Collect 8 of them and you'll be promoted 4 ranks. Find another 8 and you'll get the remaining 4 ranks. Now, pretty early into the game, we can half complete the scavenger hunt, but uh, to complete the rest of it, we do need powers and, in fact, access to another area we are completely unable to access at this point that do not become available until after the game's halfway point. So, you can only complete the scavenger hunt so much before you reach a certain stage of the game. So where do I... Hey, where'd he go? How does that old guy get around so fast? And was it just me, or did that, uh, that old guy who was, uh, you know, kind of masquerading as the ranger, he kind of also looked like the guy who was blocking the bridge when we first entered the cabin area. Hmm. Anyways, let's see what Mikhail has to say over here. I'll let you know if I see anything. Cannot lurk forever. There, Mikhail will find you. Oh, he's still looking for the bear creature. Well, let's ask him about the button. Hey, I got this button from Sasha Nine, and I have to give it back. Do you know where a secret lab is? Do not know. Why not ask Foxy girlfriend over there? Again with the girlfriend thing. Listen. Hey, just kidding. Mikhail, no woman good for only one thing: wrestling. Unless have skinny arms like your girlfriend, then. Out of luck. Thank you for the insight, Mikael. Before we go forward, you probably noticed a card fluttering in the distance, and my own compulsions prevent me from moving on without grabbing it. As you can see, each area of Whispering Rock has a variety of collectibles available for you. Now that we have the scavenger hunt added to our menu, we are also clued in to how many scavenger hunt items are located in a single area. The game's pretty generous like that, and it's always a good idea to check your menu to see how uh, far along you are on collecting things for a given area. Got a card right here, it's along the way, so we may as well grab it. Now, uh, Mikhail did suggest that we talk to Lily, so we don't really have any other leads in this area, so why don't we uh, just go talk to her, see what she has to say. Hey Lily, do you know where Sasha 9's secret lab is? Secret? It's printed on your map, duh. Oh, I knew that. I was just curious if you knew where Sasha 9's lab was, because I do. Uh-huh. She is seemingly not all that impressed, but if at this point you did not know about your map or to check it, uh, you would be directed to do so now. As you can see, now that we've entered the main lodge area, the portion of the map that contains it has been filled in, so we get a better idea of how this place is laid out. We can also choose to show Lily the button and see what she has to say about this. If you were going to make a friendship bracelet, you could maybe use this button here. Why? 
so you could unbutton it and take it off when you got tired of being friends with me? Who said you were making it for me? Uh... You know... If you were going to shut up, you could use that button on your lip. How about that? Jeez. Nice recovery there, Lily. Anyway, here is uh, Frankie and... Uh, I forget what the other girl's name was. Was it, was it Kitty? What you doing there? We're making friendship bracelets. You know, for our friends. Hey, is that my name on that one? Not unless your name is Frankie or Kitty. Oh. I guess I saw an R and, and an A. What's your name again, kid? Spaz? My name's Rats. Well, Spaz, why don't you go bother someone else? I'll have you know, Kitty, that that's an offensive term in the UK. Not that I really care. Can I ask you guys a question? Mm. Hmm. No. Kitty's not letting Frankie get a word in. What do you think of this button? Hey, look, I got a button. Can I join your little craft club? Hey, look! I got an ugly face. Can I join your ugly club? Uh, Frankie, let me handle the insults, okay? Yeah, Frankie, you're not not really making yourself look too good there. Those scavenger hunt forms. We got a couple of big promotions for the winner. Sorry, I kind of zoned out there and just sent myself off of the patio. So let's make our way over here and into the lodge. See what awaits us in here. Hey, why are you stopping? Oh, I thought you stopped. No, 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 no. Let's go. Hey, you guys are good. Thanks, man. Hey, do you have a lighter? Because if you lit it and held it up right now, that would be rad. And completely insensitive to me and my issues. Oh, right, right. Oh, never mind. I forgot about the whole fire bad thing for a moment. Sorry, 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 my bad. Not to worry, my bro. Well, let's just pick it up from the part where I do that thing. Rum solo! Woo! You heard the man. Do over. Two, three, four! Hey, what's the name of the band? <laughs> the the Liar Satters. Let's not fight in front of the fans, okay? Let's not. Hey, Phoebe, can I ask you a question? What? Have you ever had a weird nightmare about a bathtub? Is this a joke set up? Uh, never mind. Forget I said anything. Good, because if you tell one more drummer joke, I'll plant this stick in your eye. Okay, while you guys are discussing that, how about this button? Hey, just pretend this is a lighter. It's red. <laughs> Pretty inspiring. Yeah, baby! <clears throat> Ask not for who the cowbell rocks! The cowbell rocks for thee. That was inspiring. That was inspiring. Anyways, they have a variety of things they can say there. Let's go check out this little lounge area. As you can see, we've got stock footage of cartoons going in here. We got bean bags. We got a couch. Got nice little, uh, not exactly a reclining chair, but you know, just a nice little hardback chair to sit in. All the things you need to enjoy a lounge. It's like you're reading my mind. Hey, you're not, are you? You're not supposed to. Relax. There's nothing yeah. in there I don't already know. Anyways, that girl who keeps disappearing is Milka. Also, I forgot to show you guys some love. Oof! Why, I oughta... Simmer down there, Phoebe. You promised Mia you wouldn't burn any more kids. <sighs> okay. Whoa! Oof. Oof. It's like we're the best band ever! I think it's actually quite likely. I feel bad for other bands. I know, we're hot. Let's do that again. Quentin, I need your reaction. There we go. Hey, how can you tell there's a drummer at the door? I don't know. The how? knocking speeds up. Oh, shut up. I did that on purpose. It's a jazz thing. Duh. Uh-huh. Anyways, that girl who keeps disappearing is Milka. Over here, we have the camp store. Let's check this out real quick. Excuse me. I told you the burgers ain't ready. But... No, you didn't. The coals ain't hot. They're not gonna be done for a while. And maybe a week. A week? They're back ordered. I'm the only one back here. These things take time. I don't even want a hamburger. Oh, well, why didn't you say so? So, what do you want? Oh, that's my last cobweb duster. Take that into someone's mind with you. You can clean up. They're happy to be rid of the webs. And you can turn them in for psy cards. Now with that, you can change the color of some of your side powers, like your levitation ball and what have you and what not. 
Well, kind of a vanity thing. You know, in my day, Psy Powers were all gray, and we thought that was grand. We were happy just to have Psy Powers. Ah, but you know kids these days. Ah, now here's something every young Psy Cadet needs. Now that dowsing rod will help you find arrowheads that are buried deep. That's where all the really valuable ones are, you know. Find three or four deep deposits, and that baby pays for itself. It costs you money because it makes you money. Now, you take that Psy core there, put it together with nine Psy cards, and you'll have yourself a brand new Psy challenge marker, which is worth a whole rank, you know. We're actually going to buy two of these, since I'll be able to pick up the arrowheads for the dousing rod, uh, eventually, or rather, as we're making our way through the camp. The first real purchase we want to make is indeed the dousing rod, but we need to be rank 10 in order to buy it, alongside having 50 uh, arrowheads. If we pick up some cards and two of these cores... I'll take it. Alrighty then. What else can I do you for? Now, I'll take it. Alrighty then. What else can I do you for? And let's just hear about the last item here. Mm. Dream Fluffs. Delicious, nutritious, and cheap. Each one is packed with concentrated mental health. You shouldn't go anywhere without a pocket full of those. That's it for now. All right. Go get more airheads and come on back. Support your local merchants. I never actually buy uh, Dream Fluffs, but they're basically like, you know, potions from uh, Legend of Zelda, the red potion. It just recovers your health in the field. Anyways, like I said, we need to be uh, rank 10 in order to get the dousing rod, which is very important for getting the arrowheads uh, to buy the other items. As, as you saw, they are quite expensive. Uh, the two other items really worth buying are the cobweb duster, uh, since that is uh, what we need to get the mental cobwebs in the mental world, and the mental magnet, which uh, allows you to draw in collectibles uh, such as mental health and later ammo for our psi powers, but that's not uh, something we need to worry about quite this moment. That voodoo doll I grabbed uh, from the top of the lounge there, not in the, uh, or the lodge there, uh, is uh, the voodoo doll. It's not a part of the uh, scavenge items for the outdoor area surrounding the lodge. Years ago, someone thought it would be a fun craft project at camp to make voodoo dolls. We would have fired that teacher had they not ended up in the hospital. If you find one of these dolls, please do not remove and reinsert any of the pins. I don't want to know what exactly happened uh, there. Anyways, uh, there is one other thing that uh, we can accomplish inside this area. If you look over there, you might notice those uh, rather uh, chipper and also annoying kids, Clement Crystal. Hey, it's the king of the obstacle course! Hey, Rez! You're awesome! You must be a psychonaut by now! Yeah, or even a double psychonaut! <laughs> oh no, not yet. But soon. Wow, those two are so nice. In contrast to their annoyingly chipper attitudes, Clem and Crystal are heavily implied, if not outright stated, to have a suicide pact. Uh, kids do the darndest things, don't they? Anyways, we can climb up here and they will hastily stow their poison bottles. We will s just hear Coach Oleander doing his uh, little snooze cruise. Delightful. Hey, what are you guys doing up here? Uh... Writing cheers! Oh yeah! Writing cheers! Wanna hear one? Uh, okay. Ready? Okay! When I grow up... Hey, what you gonna be? I'm gonna be the best, just like my main homie! And when you say, homie, whose horn might you be tooting? The mind reading psycho thriller. Oh, you must mean Rasputin. Yeah! Rez! Go Woo! Rez! Woo How about another cheer? Okay, you start, Clem. You know Rez is the coolest. The master psychic duelist. Bad guys tried to snuff him. So he beats him like a puffin. Yeah! Rez! Woo! Oh, God. That's so bad. I'm sorry. Puffin? What was I thinking? Hey, hey, Crystal. It's okay. No, I'm so stupid. So stupid. <laughs> I think that's all the cheers for now. Okay, Raz? Yeah, hey, sorry. I don't think I want any more cheers. Well, let me try and cheer her up my way. Oh, look who's still punching. Yay, Raz! Punch, punch, punch! Punch, punch! punch. punch. 
who enjoyed that in the last video, well, you got to hear it again. And those who didn't, well, I just wasted your time. Anyways, heading up to the top of the lodge here, we've got our challenge marker for the area. Uh, pretty conveniently located like that. Now, there is more to do in the uh, main lodge area, but it requires us going a little bit out of our way, and we'll be able to uh, swing back around it a little bit quicker if I go into a different direction. Let's just grab some of these cards while we're out here. Oh, whoa, ah, darn. I was uh, moving a little too fast, but it's okay. We'll be coming back through here in a later date. Now, we do not need to head into this next area, or the next uh, couple areas I'm actually going to be going to, but there are things located here that are only available if you come here before you go to Sasha Nine's lab. So if you want to see everything in the game, you do want to take the time out of your schedule to come here. There is a card located under this bridge. We also need to pick up a handful of arrowheads in order to replenish our stock so I can get the dousing rod. The dousing rod tremendously speeds up the rate at which you get arrowheads. problem with water. It's a bunch of hooey anyway. Some old gypsy curse about how we're all supposed to die in water. If you can believe that. Oh! I thought it was about the whole thing with the brain-eating fish that walks out of the lake at night to hunt for victims. Well, see ya! Um, hey Raz. I saw you and Lily talking in the coach's class, and I was wondering, were you asking her to go with you? What? No! I'm here to train. No distractions. Excellent! Bye! Try not to make yourself sound too bad there, Raz. But Raz has a bit of a unique problem with water. So, uh, let's uh, just go on up to the water over here, and if you happen to jump into it, you will find yourself quickly under attack by the Hand of Galacho, a cursed hand that tries to drag Raz into the watery depths should he get too close. As you can see, there are a whole bunch of cards located around this area, though some of these uh, spots seem a little too tricky for us to get to. Hey, Elden, what are you doing? What? Hey, are you psychic fishing? I've read about that. Oh, I could never fish. That would be terrible. Regular people can be mean to fish, I guess, but I can't. I can hear everything the little guys are thinking. Fish think? About what? Well, normally not much, but today they're all kind of freaked. They're scared of something in the lake. Me too. Now that I know it's full of freaked out thinking fish. There's something big and scary out there, Raz. I wonder, could the old legends be true? Hmm, what legends? What's that? What are you doing? I'm trying to hear them talk. Let me help you with your concentration. Shh. I'm trying to hear them talk. You, you got anything to say about my button? Elton, ask if any of them have lost a big red button. Shh. I'm trying to hear them talk. Oh, Elton, you're so boring. Anyways, we can't make the jump over to that rock over there, so don't even bother trying. Also, it looks like there's an arrowhead just at the edge you know, of the water I here. I might not get into Sasha's secret. Fine, fine. We'll stow it away. We'll be careful with it, Raz. Over here, we've got a little bulletin board. Let's just take a look at what's on here. Goodbye, cool camp. I'm tired of being picked on by Bobby and all the mean kids at camp. If I just had one friend here who was nice, then I would stay. But you're all mean, and no one stands up for me, so I'm going home. I'll be in the parking lot waiting for my dad. So if you want to pick on me one last time, you better hurry. Maloof. Just an update for everyone. Mills and I are still broken up, and no matter how much he begs, I am not taking him back. Also, you should know that my new boyfriend doesn't like being called JT anymore. His real name is James. Sincerely, Elka. If anyone talks to the squirrels, they shouldn't listen because the squirrels are a bunch of stupid liars. Dogen. Great deals in the main lodge store. Drop by for great prices on dream fluffs, psychors, and more. All available for just a few pieces of titanium. Band practice today, in the main lodge. The levitators will be jamming this afternoon. 
please come by if you'd like to try out for the band. Warning, if I find out who's been biting holes in the bottom of these canoes, someone is going to get paddled. Admiral Cruller. Update, the levitators have broken up. However, there will be a practice session of the fire starters today in the main lodge. We are looking for someone who can play rock flute. Come on by and try out. Lily, if you're looking for me, I'll be down by the lake today. The fish seem a little upset, and I'm going to see what's wrong. But don't worry, I'll still do your homework for tomorrow, if you want. Elton Fur. Security cameras have been installed, and the next kid who jumps on my car is going to be very, very sorry. Coach Oleander. Hey, Clem and I just wanted to say that everyone did great in basic braining today. Give yourselves a hand. Woo. Love, Crystal. Man, she dotted every I with a puffy heart. And I just wanted to say ditto to that. Double ditto, in fact. Your friend, Clem. And I just wanted to point out, in case you didn't know, that Crystal's last name was Snagrash. Crystal Flower Snagrash. No joke, Bobby Z. Vernon. Frankie totally has a crush on you. She is warm for your form. Signed, Anonymous. Warning, the abandoned mental institution across the lake is not Psychonauts property and not safe for children. Canoe access has been blocked off, but please, for your own safety, children, do not try to find another route. Love, Mia. Hey, if anyone sees Frankie, could you please tell her I'll be waiting for her by Makeout Cave, Vernon. Greetings, pan-galactic travelers. I am currently developing a new vehicle for intergalactic travel. Flight tests are being performed at a remote location in the woods. Hope to soon be visiting you in person. Thanks for the messages, Chloe. Goodbye, cruel camp. I'm tired of being picked on by Bobby and... Okay, okay, so that's it. Uh, yeah, quite a lot on that bulletin board there. Getting a little insight into the somewhat mercurial relationships between the various campers here. I'm assuming that this is Admiral Cruller over here. Hey, Mr. Cruller, can I take out a canoe? Uh, Mr. Who? You will call me Admiral, son. Uh, no, you can't charter a vessel. Not without an oarsman's badge. Hmm, how do we get an oarsman's badge, though? Excuse me, Admiral? Hey? Where can I get an oarsman's badge? I'd really like to take out a canoe. I gotta get it from one of the official camp counselors. I can't have just anybody in my fleet. Okay, and uh, to that I say... Guy, I'll make a canoe out of your hide if you try that one more time. Ugh, I don't want to think about that. Over here, we've got Bobby and Benny probably being jerks. Let's go talk to them. What's that round thing up on the dock? That thing? Oh, man. Let me tell you about that thing. That thing is none of your stinking business. Oh, come on, let me through. Hey, I don't know you. What are you guys doing? Beat it, you kid. I can't think of anybody more deserving of this than you. <laughs> they got a little pushback there, but I think I made my point. But yes, Bobby and Benny are just going to be over there torturing animals because they are cruel and sociopathic. Ah, uh, children, children. Anyway, in the uh, lake area, we have access to another section of the camp. There are two uh, routes leading to this part, but we'll be taking the lake area route to get there. The, uh, ooh, this is another item for the scavenger hunt, the Psychonauts comic number one. Why don't we take a look at that right there? So head over to this, the thrilling origin issue in which the Psychonauts get their name and design their first costumes. Also introduces the character of Clyde the Cautious Cougar, who teaches fire starting safety. I feel like uh, the uh, Clyde the Cautious Cougar is a character who is constantly on the cusp of a mental breakdown. Just grab a couple more arrowheads here. We now have enough for the... Uh, Oh wait, no, this area we're going into, we do have to go into, but it should allow us to connect to an area we don't need to go to. Actually, let me look at my map here. Might be uh, getting things a little bit backwards. Yeah, yeah, I'm uh, a little bit off base here, but we should still be able to get to where I want to go. This is actually the area we need to be in in order to get to uh, Sasha Nine's lab. Now this item right here, this crow feather, this is not a required item for anything in the game. This is not a scavenger hunt item. This is instead just an item you can use on other people to annoy them. Is that you? Looking at me? Maybe you should try getting over yourself? There were 
were a lot of other people on that stage besides you. No, just now. In the woods. Hmm, <laughs> no. It must have been something else. You don't smell like pond scum. Nice. You should write greeting cards. There was some sort of shadowy being out there. Lurking. Watching. I know of only one creature who fits that description. It likes to hide in dark places, silently watching unsuspecting children from a distance. Really? Who? You, tree sitter! <laughs> hmm, seems like we have a bit of a tempestuous relationship with Lily at the moment, but I think she just likes Raz. Anyway, moving on from that, hey, it's JT and, uh, oh. Uh, JT and... Hey, you're that new kid, ain't you? Well, I'm doing some advanced training right now, as a matter of fact. So I don't think new kid is really a name that you want to get too used to saying. Hold on there. You're not doing Sasha Nine's advanced training that he does in his secret underground lab, are you? Hidden deep within the iron walls of the GPC, where no one can hear you screaming? Why, yes, I am. Sakes alive. Well, nice knowing you. Anyways, it was Chops, it was Chops. I don't know why his name was escaping me. Let's just talk to them a little bit more. Hey, you guys sound great! <laughs> Much obliged, partner. That's really catchy. Thanks a lot, man. It's so catchy, I gotta reward you guys. <sighs> hey, careful, eh? I just got this thing in tune. Aw, <sighs> oh, darn, sorry, I, I interrupted JT's comment there. Uh, do you guys have anything- well, actually, no, no, let's demonstrate the crow, crow feather. Like I said, this item is not really meant to be used for anything. You can just interact with the campers. <laughs> Tarnation! <laughs> <laughs> and like a bit of a creep, you can give everybody some tickles. We're not going to be doing that too often, but I figured I'd just show it off. We got a couple other characters over there, but we're going to make our way over to the- I believe this is- this is in the wilderness, uh, reception area, there we go. The reception area, for the purpose of completing the game, you actually never have to come here. There is nothing required in this area. There's a number of collectibles, obviously a lot of cards, a challenge marker, and there are some scavenger hunt items here. But as far as it's just, you know, completing the game pure and simple, you never actually need to come here. There is nothing mandatory here. It is purely just for extra collection. That said, there are a couple of, uh, well, not a couple, but there is a secret uh, lying around here that actually gets you a Steam achievement if you can think to do it. Just grabbing a handful of the cards along the way doesn't really matter too much since we only have two cores at this point. One funny thing about the uh, Psy cores, obviously there's a limited number of cards that you can actually uh, collect and turn into challenge markers in the game, but that does not stop you from buying an infinite number of cards if you so desire, which I just think is kind of funny. Hey, it's another one of those guys here. Ah, this one's the janitor. Hmm, an eager one. Eager to learn, I wonder, or just eager to play? Sir? I am here to learn, sir. You're here to train hard? Mm, yes, sir. Develop a skill? Yes, sir. To become part of a noble team? Yes. Yes. To become? Yes. A janitor. No. What? I'm here to be a psychonaut. Yeah, there the brainy jump jump goes on upstairs. And down here it's pushing brooms, not bending spoons. <laughs> Oh, that's a good way to put it, sir. Hey, Mr. Crawler, do you know where Sasha Nine's lab is? Lab? Huh? This secret underground lab? I don't have a secret underground lab. That's Hobgoblin. Now beat it. Get! And stop staring at my mouse. Huh, what an oddly evasive comment to make. I'll have to reward you for that one. Oh, uh, uh, eager to get whacked in the head with a broom handle, too, I see. Hey, I'm just happy to see you give as good as you get. Hey, what do you think of this button? This mean anything to you? Ah, yes. So... So? So red buttons on your underwear. What does that mean? How will that help me find Sasha's lap? How the heck do I know? Just one of those things that old people like to say. I feel illuminated. You know what, we'll also give him just a little bit of the tickles. <laughs> 
Nice to see that he still has a sense of humor, despite the fact that he seems to be a little bit off his rocker. Just a, just a tad, just a tad. He might need to go over to the lake, because he seems to be, seems like he's gone fishing. Over there, we've got a bear. But not just any bear, a telekinetic bear. If he happens to grab you with that hand, he will trap you in place and then give you some good wax. Uh, the telekinetic bears are rather dangerous to engage in melee combat, so I would recommend avoiding them. Funnily enough, the live system we have for this game are astral layers, which le represent Raz's uh, sort of psychic connection with the mental world he's in, but you can still be killed by these bears and somehow lose mental layers. I actually have never run out of uh, uh, astral layers while I was in the overworld. I'm not sure what happens if you let that happen. I'm guessing you just get sent back to an area in the camp. The human mind. 600 miles of synaptic fiber. Five and a half ounces of cranial fluid. 1,500 grams of complex neural matter. A three pound pile of dreams. But I'll tell you what it really is. It is the ultimate battlefield and the ultimate weapon. The wars of this modern age, the psychic age, are all fought somewhere between these damn gracious undulations. From this day forward, are all psychic soldiers, paranormal paratroopers, mental marines who are about to ship out on the adventure of their lives. This is our beachhead, and this is your landing craft. You shall engage the enemy in his own mentality. You shall chase his dreams. You shall fight his demons. You shall live his nightmares. And those of you who fight well, you will find yourselves on the path to becoming international secret agents. In other words, psychonauts. The rest of you will die. Man, that guy was nuts. And if you recite all of Coach Oleander's speech, plus the comment at the end, you'll get a nice Steam achievement. Now, we could head back into the main campgrounds area, but there is something that I've been kind of ignoring. You've probably been noticing as we're walking through the uh, various areas of the camp, there are these rather conspicuous stumps around, and it looks like they have an opening in them. What happens if we jump in here? Oof. Hey! Welcome to the Whispering Rocket Underground Rapid Transit System. Would you like to go back to your private sanctuary now, Agent Krella? Or somewhere else? So, this is an underground travel uh, system that we can use to be dropped anywhere within the camp. Or we could go to Agent Kruller's secret sanctuary. But we're not going to go there yet. We will be directed to go there eventually, and I'll be saving it for then. For now, let's head back to the area of the main lodge that we actually passed over, the parking lot. I'm headed for the parking lot. I hope you're not leaving us, sir. Oh, uh, no, you minecart. Oh, I would never leave you. Anyways, here you can see we're outside the uh, recreation area. This was, <laughs> that, uh, this is actually the connection back that I passed over. I just wanted to show off the travel system, so uh, <laughs> that's why I did that. Over here we got another message board. Just an update for everyone. Mills and I are still... Okay, okay, so that's just the same junk. So, yeah, if you didn't read the one in the boathouse, there's also one over here. I don't believe there's any achievements for reading the message board. Over here is Coach Oleander's car that he uh, apparently has surveillance on. If we hop on up to it, we can just jump on top of it to get a card. That card up there, we actually cannot get at the moment. At least not through an intended method. Now, this here is another interesting landmark that gives us a variety of flavor text. Man, this thing was old when they chopped it down. Let's see. 500 years ago, enormous titanium bearing meteorite strikes the Earth, leaving a giant crater. 200 years ago, native inhabitants begin making arrowheads out of the titanium, which they call by the name Whispering Rock. This is a rough English translation. 100 years ago, prospectors and settlers take over the area, naming their boomtown Shaky Claim. 99 years ago, First case of paranormal hysteria diagnosed in shaky claim. 75 years ago, Houston Thorny builds his home for the demented to deal with the insanity epidemic. 60 years ago, more residents in asylum than in the town. Houston Thorny commits suicide by leaping from tower. 55 years ago, asylum closes. Last Valley residents paid to leave by the federal government flood the crater to prevent further habitation. 
Lake Oblongata is creating. Five years ago, Whispering Rock Psychic Summer Camp found it to nurture and train future psychonauts. Last summer, I got to first base with Elka Doom, signed Nils Lutfisk. Man, this thing was old when they chopped it. Okay, okay, so now uh, Raz just uh, cycles through. Clearly, that last entry there was the most important one to know. Here we can jump onto this basketball hoop and get that card there. Now that we're here and we're by a stump, we can also take this back to the wilderness area. So let's just hop into the stump. Oh, before I do, you know, we've been traveling around a little bit. Maybe we could use the bathroom or maybe we could just collect a card here and get another set of cards to create a challenge marker. But we only have two cores, so I'm afraid that there's just nothing to be done there. Oh, oh, wait, I see another card. Sorry, sorry, I, ju I just can't. I, I am compelled to grab it. There we go. I've noticed that these birds that we're walking by, uh, they keep flashing like we could interact with them. I wonder if we have any abilities we could use on them. Hmm. Where would you like me to take you, Agent Crawler? Let's, uh, go to the, uh, geodesic psycho-isolation chamber. Bring me near the geodesic psycho-isolation chamber. Roger that, Ranger Crawler. We are riding in style. Over here. I saw Nils peeking into a hole in the girl's cabin. I'm hiding. And I thought, oh, Nils, when will you peek into the hole in my heart? Because you just see yourself staring back. Uh-huh. What? I mean, he'd see my new boyfriend, James, staring back. And he'd be furious at Nils. Who's Nils? Exactly. And anyway, there wouldn't even be a hole because James fills my heart. Till sometimes I think it's gonna explode. One time, I made someone's head explode. Well, okay, maybe there's still a little hole. Actually, it happened four times. But James and I have each other now, and Nils is just gonna have to deal with it. Now they make me wear this special hat, so I don't have any more accidents. Are you even listening to me, Dogen? I hope so. Hey, Elka. Hey, Nosy. How about pulling your big beak out of our private business? Hey, Dogen, I got a secret for you. Nils. Hey, not fair. Whispering is so rude. What did he tell you, Dogen? Well, there's not going to be any reveal there. What do you guys think of this button? Hey, look at this button I found on Nils' bunk. It looks like it came off a girl's dress. <gasps> I don't care. I can respect that Raz always takes the opportunity to do a little trolling. Dogen, what do you think? Looks like it was just torn off by force. I don't care. It's got little teeth marks on it. Get that thing out of my face before I shove it in your eye socket and sew it to your brain! Nels kisses girls on the mouth and likes it. Why don't you just take off your hat and kill me, Dogen? I don't know. Uh, do not, do not joke about that with Dogen, he might actually do it. So, yeah, it's just a good opportunity to, uh, get some trolling in. Raz approves, as do I. And let's head up here, get a few more arrowheads, if I can make it. Unfortunately, we're sliding on down, so we'll have to take a bit more of an intended route here. Taking our way up here... Oh, no! <laughs> Come on, I can get this, I can get this. We got a card right here, we gotta grab it. There we go. Just got to uh, do a cleaner single jump rather than a double jump. Get our uh, arrowhead here. We can hop on this branch and just swing along if we so desire. Not really necessary, but it is fun. We got another telekinetic bear over here and a card also to grab, which I think is important. Ooh. He did give me a quick slap there, but not a big deal. Heading over here, we've got yet another card and an item we actually cannot get. Huh. Hey, is that a skull? I thought I recall seeing a skull on the scavenger list there, so something we'll have to grab. Before we actually make our way into the central geodesic psycho-isolation chamber area, there is in fact a couple more characters to see. Over there we've got another scavenger hunt item that we just cannot get because a squirrel snatches out of the way. If only we could approach it without being seen. But yeah, where, where was I? We've got two more characters to check out. I know this has been an extremely dialogue-heavy video, and there's a lot of dialogue, and there was interest in seeing it. And honestly, I do think some of this stuff has been pretty funny so far, so I hope you've been enjoying it. Next video will definitely be a bit more action-packed, but as you can tell from the time, we're getting close to the end of this one. We've done almost everything that there is to do. Excuse me, Mr. Ranger, but I'm looking for Sasha Nine's lab. Well, now, even if I knew where it was, and, 
And if it were down here, and even if you were very, very close to it right now, you, you shouldn't be poking around here. This forest is off limits. Now get! Well, thanks for the help, Ranger Crawler. Anyways, let's grab more Psychic Arrowheads here. As you can see, the hit detection for grabbing it is pretty generous. Hey, it's Chloe. That looks like fun. It's work. I'm testing a low orbit space plane design. How's the testing going? Not now, Raz. Well, what I think is you need a little bit of crow feather for inspiration. Hmm. Interesting sensation. I think it actually worked. Anyways, we've got a little bit of platforming we can do here to get into a, not quite secret, but uh, out of the way area. Just keep jumping up here, get another card for our troubles. Hey, we're able to make another Psy uh, challenge marker if we have the cores. And then we can slide down here for another card. We're just getting tons of these and another one. Oh man, it's like Christmas. We're just getting so many goodies just by exploring the area. Also, you probably noticed this little house here. If we uh, hop up here, we can also jump into this house. So let's just make our way up here real quick. Lead me uh, to this, Chloe. Actually, you know what? There we go. Earthling violence is why we haven't been asked to join the greater galactic community, you no. Know? Well, I'm sorry. I can't suppress my impulses sometimes. It was funny. That's my justification. Here we get the Psy Challenge Marker for the area. And you know what that means? We're rank 10. In addition to uh, unlocking a new power if we visit Agent Crawler, eh? Well, we're just going to leave that little notification there for a bit, and we will do that at a later point, i.e. the next video, because we still have things that we need to do to finish off this video. Something cool? Uh, no. It's a six sensory deprivation tank. A hermetically sealed metaphysical hotbox. It's solitary confinement for psychics. Nasty. And the coach locked you inside it? Nah, the staff hasn't put any kids in the GPC since the 50s. Bobby threw me in here. Bully and dwarf accomplice should have sold own size or larger only. Or even cooler. Perhaps notice gigantic bear with skin where hair should be? I didn't see anything in there. That's the whole point. Hmm. Just so. Empty now. Good luck, small ones. Hey, wait! Hmm, hopefully uh, Maloof finds a friend in Mikael. But with that taken care of, we're able to get into this isolation chamber. Is it just me? Looks like one of the buttons is missing. Hmm. Interesting. I wonder... <laughs> I think we found our secret lab. Well, let's not waste any more time. And we've done quite a bit of time wasting in this video. I'm here for the advanced training. Here we are in Sasha 9's not-so-secret-anymore lab, and there are a handful of collectibles unique to this area. If we jump over here, we can make our way over to another scavenger hunt item. So let's just hop on up and grab the fossil. Let's take a look at that. The fossil. Bringing day-old chicken pot pie from the cafeteria, cafeteria doesn't count. I've been fooled twice already, but from now on, you kids better have the real McCoy. Well, I think this counts enough. I mean, I can't imagine uh, Sasha having an expired chicken pot pie in his lab. Although well, maybe he could. I mean, this place is a slight disaster area, or at the very least, edging towards that. Grabbing the card over here. Let me just see. Uh, what were the other collectibles here? Just one more card, which I forget where... Oh, it was right there. Just gotta... Make so what are we gonna learn? 
Bending spoons? Burning stuff? Well, it looks like uh, Sasha 9 is just going to ignore us. But, you know what? Well, first, I'd like to just draw attention. We got another stump here. Now that you've accessed Sasha's lab, you can use this stump to travel in and back uh, or out and then back into it. Uh, otherwise, uh, up until this point, it was not a part of the list. Obviously, it would kind of defeat the purpose of actually looking for this lab if you could just take an underground uh, rocket car to it. But, like I was saying, I think we'll save what Sasha has to say for the next video, because quite a bit has happened in this one, and we've just heard so many things. I don't want to give you information overload. I do not want to deprive your six senses. So, this is where we'll be ending this video. As always, I hope you enjoyed watching, and I hope to see you in the next one. Until then, though, goodbye.